Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we're continuing to take a deeper dive into a Brita water filter. Welcome back to Dialed In DIY, the Brita water filter, part two. You might remember in a previous video that I recently posted, which you can see imaged here and linked in the description below, we took the filter out of one of these Brita water pitchers and took a look at what was inside of it. Now, I posed two questions as a part of why I was doing that when I took that one apart, and we answered one of them sort of at that time, but the second one we also gave a yes-no answer to, and the yes-no answer was based upon the fact that what's inside was a little bit more complicated than we were after, um, or first thought, and that question had to do with whether or not it made sense to try to hack one of these filters to refill it repurpose it was it going to save any money and really to answer that you have to ask is it going to do the same job but most importantly to you is is, is it going to do the same job that you wanted for a water filtration purpose in the first place and for me there was kind of three purposes in using the Brita water filter for the pitcher one we have some heavy lime scale in this area and these were designed to help take part of that lime scale out of there and that's very helpful with your drinking water and other devices so if you're going to put this into a tea kettle or something like that that builds up and you're going to see it in the bottom but two our water is treated with chlorine to help reduce some of the bacteria and other things that might be in there to take care of that and that does come through sometimes so the real goal for me is i wanted to clean up the water so that the flavor was better for the purpose of making coffee better water better coffee the third component, which was really the add-on extra benefit you get with a lot of the filtration systems, is it does help to remove heavy metals, uh, other metals, other total dissolved solids that you may not want in your drinking water, and that is a nice benefit. So, out of all of that, what's the most important to you? What is the most concern to you in your water? And you need to know that before you can ask yourself, should I hack my Brita? Stick with me. Let's find out. In the previous video, I specifically called out two of the three key active ingredients that you'll find in one of these kind of water filters. As you looked at the bed of material inside, we noticed that there are two key components that are easy to spot. One is the activated carbon. If we're going to try to hack the filter and just replace the activated carbon, we're going to accomplish a couple of things. We're going to get the chlorine removal, we're going to reduce the organic matter a certain degree, and we're going to remove odors and some nasty color. There is, however, a second problem that can be experienced by any kind of a filter process, and that is moisture can lead to bacteria growth in the bed itself. So, the activated carbon used in this is actually impregnated with silver, which works as an antimicrobial. So, not only is the activated carbon much smaller than your standard run-of-the-mill AC, but you also have the bacteria-fighting component in this as well. Making it even much harder to just simply refill this material is the ion exchange resin beads that are present that you see here in the blown up picture. It actually helps to reduce water hardness and also reduces some heavy metals. So if you're still trying to think of a way to refill your filter, you could simply drill a hole through the top and to make sure it goes through both parts, then ensure that you have a good seal on top of it so that the material doesn't float back up and out. And you're gonna need to change that material often to prevent bacteria growth as well as using something else to accomplish getting the water hardness removed. So for my key goals, I've decided I'm not gonna hack it. I'm just gonna stick with the standard refill cartridges. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.